All right, guys, today we check out 2024 Arlington. This track is compared to Glendale, if you remember. Uh, we had a week break, but we're back at it here. Um, that track was pretty crazy, pretty wild. And this track is much more normal. I mean, this layout for this track, we have seen this similar layout to Arlington before. We've seen it a couple times, a few times. It has the you know, the back and forth, 180s, kind of a uh, more of a gap in the middle of the track, and then cutting across the start straight, big sweeper connecting back to the first turn. So the layout is pretty typical of Arlington, but should be a good race, a bunch of 180s for some passing opportunities. We head back east, the, the west gets a pretty big break, and then obviously the 450. So uh, let's just jump into this and check out 2024 Arlington. All right, guys, so we've got 2024 Arlington to check out. We have Ken Roxon in first person. I feel like this is a cool way to show off the track, kind of a track walk and um, just go over it and show you how I built it and show you the, the map design and, and layout, I guess. But um, yeah, talking about that first table, it isn't really a table. It's similar to what they had at Glendale, where they had it, it was like a stepped table. It's similar to that, but in the game, you don't really have access to it, so I just decided to make it a table. Here is where we have some line choice. Both lines work. I will show you both of them, but um, the one I took, I feel like, is more consistent. The second way is a little bit weird in the game, but it does work. Then we have a double supercross triple into the finish line and a step on step off but I decided to make it a quad it really depends on how they build the track I feel like with the speed they might have the 450s for sure could quad depending on how spaced apart it is but maybe the 250s can't maybe they can we'll see and then I made a roller and then we go triple on step off now you can quad quad this rhythm section I do show it to you with Hunter Lawrence a bit later and Eli Tomac but I just want to mention that is a possibility to do that, even though I don't feel like they will in real life because that first jump it seems pretty short. Um, so I don't think they'll be able to do it, but it's cool to do it in the video game. So here we have the second, the alternate version. You jump off the table, you triple, and then triple again, single. I have a bunch of singles into the corner because it just turned out that way in the video game. Um, so I made them small jumps so you can kind of roll or jump into the corner and it isn't really annoying to do but yeah so Ken Roxon got the win and then we're finishing up here with him but he got the win I believe he turned the fastest lap time of the main event even and it just felt like the way Ken Roxon was riding this year it felt like he was gonna get a win um, he just had a bunch of bad starts and unfortunate things happen to him um, to where he couldn't do it but he finally got it and really made up a bunch of points in that one race so fifth winner in six races so this is crazy because they said they average like four 4.6 winners per year so we're already past that but yeah really really happy to see to see Broxon get his first win and I really feel like it won't be the the last one I feel like he could do it again so yeah and then we got Jason Anderson here a bit because he got second and had the second fastest lap time of the night but it was the quietest second place I've ever seen he was a little bit behind Roxon and a decent amount ahead of third. He just kind of rode around by himself and the broadcast virtually didn't even show him. So it was just such a quiet ride in second place for Anderson, but he did get second and made up more points. So um, yeah, I wanted to talk about him. And then we've got Jet Lawrence here. He got not a great start, kind of had a bobble in the sand section with Cooper Webb. And then he almost went down and had a terrible crash over the Supercross triple, the first Supercross triple after the, the long rhythm lane at Glendale. And then he kind of locked in and was able to get into fourth place. And then he was able to catch Tomac because Eli Tomac got a decent start and was in third place. But Jet caught him and passed him. We will talk about it a bit more, but I was a little bit disappointed. I kind of was hoping for more of a fight, more of a... Uh, a battle between Jet and Tomac and it just didn't really happen um, he just Tomac I wouldn't say he let him by but he just, he just kind of let him by and then Jet rode off and he didn't really make up any time on the leaders though he didn't really make up much time on Roxon or Anderson if any and just kind of rode around in third place after he got Tomac but it did take him a minute 
you know, to catch him because he was a way, ways back. But I would say Jet rode really, really well. And he even said these aren't his favorite conditions. The the hard pack, uh, kind of slippery stuff. He just aren't his favorite conditions. But, you know, he still did well. So um, I believe Jet has the points lead. He's like six points, I believe, ahead of Sexton. And then the top four or five are separated by like ten points. So it's really, 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 really tight in this championship and we, again we've had five different winners in six different races so jet being the only um multi winner this season and then i wanted to get a bit of hunter lawrence we do hit the quad quad there with him eventually on the next lap but i've been wanting to kind of talk about him and cover him a bit he's had a pretty quiet season um with disaster happening at a one not qualifying for the main but hunter i was kind of indifferent with him He's really grown on me. He he just carries himself well. I, I enjoy his riding style, and I want him to do well. I want him to do well. I'm really rooting for him to do well. He's kind of overshadowed by Jet because Jet is just phenomenal generational talent, and you know, on and off the track stuff happens, but he's kind of overshadowed by him, but he just seems like such a good dude, you know, and he has the speed, and I'm really hoping he did get a top five, by the way, if I didn't mention it. I'm really hoping to see Hunter hit the podium this year, maybe even sneak in a win. It might be tough, but um, yeah, I mean, just here we hit the quad quad. It's so cool. No, I don't believe they'll do that, but it's really fun, the game. Um, I, I guess it's just he's learning the, the 450. He's talked about it. He says uh, this bike is just a different animal, and um, it's just different. Uh, but I really do feel like he will figure it out. Um, it was really good progress from from Phoenix or Glendale and he talked about it too he also said this track was really really tough to pass on or not pass on really but make up time because everybody was kind of doing the same stuff and the track seemed like it would be really crazy and there'd be crazy rhythms and a bunch of racing and passing but it didn't really turn out that way and I feel like they were hoping for that it just didn't work out that way they talked to some other 250 guys and they said the same thing they weren't it wasn't their favorite track design and it just didn't come out the way they wanted it to. There was like, you could see there were the 250s, even the 450s were going triple, triple in the first rhythm section. And then having to seat bounce the third one and then triple in. That was sketchy. I mean, it was almost a death cross for the 250s. I mean, red flags, guys going down. Um, Thrasher had a really bad crash. It just was crazy. Uh, D. Francesco also, for the 250s, it was almost a death cross. But... Yeah, here I want to talk about Sexton and Webb. So Sexton and Webb finished up 7th and 8th, or maybe Malcolm got in between them. I'm not sure, but 7th and 8th or 7th and 9th. And Sexton got by Webb early, well, kind of early, but then Webb got him back and finished up in 7th. Sexton was riding with a bit of an injury to his hand, so he had a bit of an excuse. But to be honest with you, Sexton, as fast as he is and as great as he is now, I just don't feel like he, you know, and they keep asking him about it, and he keeps talking about it too. He, I don't feel like he's fully comfortable in that KTM. Maybe he gets there because AP makes the KTM look good. AP has figured it out, and he's more, had more time, but Sexton doesn't feel like or look like he's comfortable on his bike. He just doesn't look like the same rider. Yes, he doesn't go down as much, but he just doesn't have that same speed, it feels like, that he had on the, the CRF, but... Um, yeah, he got 8th or ninth, and then Webb got 7th. And Webb didn't have an excuse. He just didn't ride well. They said that his average finishes from Glendale are like 6th place. So, not surprised he basically finished up where he would average normally. But, yeah, he didn't ride well. Even in his championship years, they said he doesn't do well at Glendale. And then I wanted to talk about Tomac a bit. Yes, I already said that he did get passed by Jet and he ended up fourth, but I was a bit disappointed. I wanted to see more fight in Tomac and he just kind of let him by. Now, if you're a big Tomac fan, I'm a huge Tomac fan. I wouldn't be worried yet. I'd give it time. He's still kind of easing on into it and he's shown us that he does have incredible speed still, but I don't know. It just didn't happen. We'll see how he is at Daytona. We've got a week break, and then we've got Arlington, and then we go into Daytona, and he's the king of Daytona, so we'll see how he does there, but um, yeah, it, it was a bit disappointing, but I'm still not worried. We'll see how it how he is at the end of the season, if he doesn't isn't injured or whatever, but if you're a Tomac fan, you probably were a bit bummed to see it, but um, 
yeah, he got fourth place. So let me know in the comments what you guys think, how you feel about the race, how did you feel about the Glendale track, did it turn out the way you wanted it to? The riders kind of talked about how it just didn't turn out the way they think the track designers wanted it to, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think, but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot, and until the next video, take it easy.